first start with the output to show what our program does and then like then we will uh, explain to all of you how does our program runs and what are like taking single lines and explaining what our program does so Akshat can you just move to the output at the first you can see there is a customer section then about the project and then the exit section first let us understand what is what is in the customer section Akshat please press 1 yeah so here we have different options to choose like for 1 we have fries for 2 burgers for 3 coke and for 4 cold drinks so uh, sorry for 3 it's cakes so if we want to order fries we will press 1 and then Shubham please press 1 then we need to enter like how many buckets or how many uh, fries do we want so please enter the quantity say if we want 2 so please enter 2 Shubham yeah our order for 2 fries has been booked now Again, if you want to order, we need to press 1. Else, to get the total, we need to press 2. Shubham, please enter 1. Yeah. Now, again, we can order. If we have some fries, then let us order some burgers now. So, let us get some 2 burgers. So, we will have press 2, then quantity. Shubham, give 2 for quantity. Yeah. We have got the burger. Then, we need to get our total because fries and burgers are enough to fill our stomach. So, now, Shubham, please press 2 to get the total. Yeah. So our total amount is 240. Then we need to enter the customer details for the billing system. So there is the first name, then the last name, and then other details. Shubham, please fill in the details. Then the customer's phone number. Yeah. So our order has been booked now. Now let us come to the first. Then let, now let us come to the main menu again. So here next is. Again, in the customer section, we have three things. So let us come to the second point. First one, please press one. Yeah. Then we can view the orders. This is for the manager who wants to view the total and who, or for the accounts department, who wants to get the accounts of what has been sold all day. So, uh, Shubham, please go to view orders. Yeah. You can see here the orders which have been booked and the, their total amounts. We, you can see. Then again, Shubham, please go back to the main menu. Yeah. We can go back to the main menu by pressing 3 out here. Yeah. And then there is about the project. So, Shubham, please press about the project. Yeah. Here, here are the details for uh, uh, the members who are presenting this. First one is Shubham and then Rachel. And then Shubham, please. Then the 3 which is exit. By pressing 3, we can just exit. And here is the message which we want to show to the customer to exit. Yeah. Shubham. Now, let us come to the program understand what is how we have made the program and how we have constructed all the constructors and all the program functions so at first we have initialized our header files first one is the std io.h second one is the std lib.h and conio.h we have all included this file for our different needs and the function used here are void main menu which is a void which has a void parameter and then again we have void customer then void on snack void c details and void about project then we have the end mail function. Shubham, please scroll a bit. The, all these are void functions. So in end mail, we are doing nothing, just calling the main menu function in which every function has been initialized. So that we can call, so that by calling just the end mail function, we can call every function. Okay. So now let us come to the end main function, uh, main menu function. Yeah. In main menu function, first we have uh, mentioned the system CLS which will clear the screen before we are calling the main menu function main menu function then we are printing a message so that it could look nice and like the customer understands what to input and when to input all this then we have in select the uh, for selection like if we want to press 1 we will get the customer section if we press 2 we will get about the project if we press 3 we will get exit so if we press 1 then it will call the customer section where we have all that order snack view order and then exit all that then we have if we select two, then we have about the project uh, function, which we call about the function uh, about project where we have given our names and all that. What is our project all about? Then we have third function, which will give the message and will exit. You can see that first system dot clear CLS, so that the whole screen will be cleared and this uh, this uh, whatever is printed over here, printed over here, it can be shown. And uh, before uh, uh, before that, whatever is printed, it will be uh, cleared up from the screen. Here, C C is a variable, and scan it, uh, and an integer is inputted, uh, inserted to get a number. 
then loading, then a follow-up is created to uh, store the load function over here. And uh, by dividing the uh, load is from zero to it says from zero to five thousand, and by dividing the load by five thousand, we can uh, create a load function. Uh, it will show uh, one, two, three, four up to ten, and slash that is over here to uh, show the carriage return, so that uh, one, two, three, four is uh, shown at the same place. Now, go down please. Scroll down. So if if the choice is one, then on set uh, function is called. So before that, the system is clear. Now, uh, if C is two, then view order will be called, where all the orders uh, for the whole day is uh, stored up in a file. And here, get C H. Get C H means uh, it is a uh, which uh, it is a uh, it is a corner dot H function. So uh, whenever we uh, enter uh, enter any key from the keyboard, so we can get back to the main custom section over here. And if we, uh, we enter three, then the uh, system, uh, the screen will get clear and main, the control will return to the main menu. And if anything else is inserted, then a statement will be printed out. Wrong input, kindly insert the correct option. And the control will pass on to the customer function to get the correct input. Now is the void on stack fun function. It is called when the uh, when the in the customer section when one is pressed, when the user inserts one, then void snack is. Uh, call and here the all these statements will be printed before the uh, user and here we have uh, used file handling system to store all the uh, means to store all these uh, printers and to, when when we call this uh, regularly so it can easily be called actually we, uh, since we are opening a file over here we should definitely close it otherwise it will create a problem. Using the uh, F close function. Now we have to uh, enter choice. Suppose if we enter one, please uh, scroll above. Above, go above. Uh, above. Yeah, yeah, me down, down, down. Move, uh, now scroll to the right, right this. Way. Now scroll down. Sorry, scroll, scroll up. Scroll down. Scroll above. Over. There will be here. So to uh, insert, uh, so to uh, insert any uh, menu means, if you want to get a get fries, which is fifty dollars, it's shown over here, or burger, or any snacks, or or any uh, what is it there chips. So we can enter one, two, three, four. So to book our order. Now please return to the. Turn down and scroll to the left. Here, yeah, okay. Now, if we enter choice one for the price, suppose the customer wants price, so he has to enter one, and the quantity it should be entered by the customer. If he wants two or three, if he is a, if in a group, so uh, he has to enter quantity, and the total can be uh, calculated by uh, fifty, the uh, price of one fry into the quantity he has mentioned. If he then if he wants to order again with some other some other stuff like a fries or cake or burger or anything, then he should press one. Or if he wants to get the total, he should press two. Then uh, scroll, scroll down. Yeah. When one is print, uh, when one is entered, it will call the function on snap. So that uh, again uh, some other stuff can be entered. Or if else uh, two is entered, the total amount will be created. Here is a, again a file uh, file handling uh, takes place so that uh, the copy of the orders is stored in the hard disk in the ordered file ordered file in a ordered file so that uh, you can uh, we can get a record of the whole day sales over here and the file is closed then customer details then customer details after completing a order and getting the total we should enter the customer details so that whoever has ordered the uh, stuff we can get uh, we can get contact make a contact with him. Then two, if two is entered, the same process will be there and for burgers, and if three is entered, then for uh, cakes and then, uh, uh, let's continue. Three is for uh, cakes. 
total amount here. Finished. Now, if five is entered, the customer function is again called. The system gets cleared. Finished. Finished. Finish. Okay. Slide. Last slide. Last slide. Here is the customer details uh, function. And here is the void function. Which we need to check. So, um, what, what we are basically trying to present is that uh, this is a basically the prototype of a food ordering system that the restaurants can use. And by uh, making some mini changes over here and there, we can. Uh, create a whole ordering system, or by making, uh, or by setting up this uh, whole pro whole program in an app system, we can make a mobile app too. Thank you, everyone. Very good.